She prepares two different styles of som tam. That's garlic. It goes into the clay mortar. That's a wood pestle. And a little bit of shredded papaya. If you look to the right of your screen, you'll see we have a separate video demonstrating how she shredded that papaya using the unique style. And she takes some of the garlic out and puts it in the other mortar. Now fresh Thai chili peppers are added. You can see the classic style there using the large stainless spoon. We sell that same clay mortar and pestle and stainless steel spoon at Import Food. She takes some of the chili out and puts it in the other one. These are long beans and you'll see her smash those up pretty well in just a moment. The one on her right will be mostly long beans. The one on her left has more shredded papaya and you'll see her add some Thai Chinese style noodles at the end. A lot of the things she she uses in the Som Tum are growing out behind her her little restaurant. We walked out and saw papayas and chilies and the green beans and just about everything was growing back there. Coming up in a moment, she'll add dried shrimp, and then you'll see her add buna, which is a crab that grows, uh, they're a freshwater crab, and they live in rice fields. The freshwater crab uh, hibernate between January and April, and that's when the people go out and get them. There's the crab right there. She removes the stomach part and then breaks the crab in half and puts it in. There's a little shell uh, in between the, the legs and the stomach and she takes that out. She adds a little bit of green tomato there. And now these are red tomatoes. They're like cherry tomatoes. And she throws a few green beans in right there on the, the mortar to, to her left. There's some more green beans. There aren't as many green beans in the som tam to her left there. That's tamarind water. Just a little warm water soaking with some tamarind. That adds sour. And she also added a bit of fish sauce. Here she's going to taste it and then she'll add a bit more palm sugar and lime juice. We sell very good quality uh, palm sugar at importfood.com. The best, right from Thailand. There goes the palm sugar and lime juice. And now it's ready to serve. And this was excellent. Served with sticky rice. Here she's finishing up the second som tam. We didn't show she added a handful of shredded green papaya to that mortar. And here goes um, This is a fermented cooked rice noodle. 
Kind of a Chinese style noodle. She added at the end, mixed it up gently, and it's a very nice combination. Now she's more or less just stirring it up rather than smashing it. There's more of that palm sugar, lime juice, fish sauce. And a couple more tomatoes. She presses those against the mortar with her spoon. Two excellent versions of Som Tum. We hope you enjoyed this look at the Thai street vendor. We have an entire street vendor series. If you look to the right of your screen, thank you very much for watching.